Okay, today it's another uh, the Ballast Point Brewery beer from San Diego, California. We did a couple of these. We did Sculpin. I think we did their uh, Pale Ale as well. This is their Big Eye IPA. I believe this is one of their flagships, if not the flagship uh, beer. It's uh, a regular IPA coming in at 7% uh, ABV. Um, again, 7.5 is usually that cusp where it almost graduates to the uh, double Imperial Pale L, but this one uh, is down to a 7%, so it's an IPA. 71 IBUs, uh, it gets a 91 on Beer Advocate, and it gets a 98% on Rate Beer. Uh, they use uh, Columbus and Centennial Hops, it's won 11 awards. Uh, so, uh, pretty, uh, pretty impressive uh, resume for this uh, beer from Ballast Point. Um, as well as basically all beers from Ballast Point. So let's open her up and pour her into an English pint glass. I'm using my keys. Yes, I have a bottle opener on my keys. First time I've ever used it, I believe, in one of these reviews. So this is a, a, big, uh, a big day, big night, I should say. And we get that kind of amber color with a very thin head. I'm going to guess about maybe a third of a finger of head. Um, orangey kind of color, as you can see, so we'll get the aroma now. Oh man, very West Coasty. Oh, love it. Not too pungent, not too dank. Um, not expecting that though, just a nice, uh, a yeah, nice kind of, uh, uh, citrusy kind of smell that you kind of get almost caramelized a little bit, if I can use that expression, uh, IPA. So uh, good, refreshing smelling beer. Let's get the, uh, let's get the taste now. You know what? Pretty good. It's, it's got a, a little bit of a bite on the front of the palate, and it really kind of evenly coats uh, the whole tongue, it seems. Not bad at all. Um, probably not as fulfilling of a taste that I was expecting from a Ballast Point beer, from definitely from a West Coast brewery. Um, it's got that, uh, that, that, I guess, twinge of sourness in the back of the, uh, of the, back of the tongue. Um, it's a little bit of a, of a biting aftertaste that's not the most pleasant aftertaste in the world is what I'm getting from this one. And not getting that effervescent fruity kind of sensation that you get with a lot of uh, West Coast IPAs. So this, this beer, uh, probably not one of the better IPAs out there uh, among the West Coast. It more kind of reminds me of, a, of an East Coast attempt and not one of the latest East Coast attempts, because the latest East Coast attempts are pretty darn good. Um, I'm not saying this beer is bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a little more on the run-of-the-mill side, which uh, is kind of a surprise. So uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and give uh, this a 6.5 out of 10. Um, Good-looking beer, smells uh, okay. Not really getting the West Coast kind of vibe from this beer. Uh, and just a little, little too harsh on the uh, on the palate. I think it's a little bit of a of a, of a palate wrecker. Not to not to name drop a, an opposing brewery to Ballast Point. Not that they're opposing; they're all friends, of course. Um, but uh, it's, it's just not a beer that would be a go-to for me. Not not the most delicious beer in the world. But that said, not a bad representation of the style. Six point five uh, out of ten.